So I'm going to talk about the three R's and the Climate Rescue Accord, and that's our website there, climaterescue.net. So the Climate Rescue Accord started as a conversation between on climate policy between representatives from different registered political parties and uh, a, a working group formed and parties signed on and that those were parties represented in the working group including Fusion, Animal Justice Party, Oz Progressives and Reason. Unfortunately, Reason has disbanded now. Um, we've got some others coming on board. Um, and then on the working group, we also have someone from Vote Climate One, which is a traffic light voting card, and the Climate Emergency Declaration. And we're, what the accord is driving is advocacy and education on the three hours of climate rescue, reduce, remove, reflect, and a platform. It's also a platform for minor parties and independents to adopt to help win minority government. Um, so you might recognise this as Australia's appalling climate target, net zero by 2050. Um, warming is speeding up. So James Hansen has just noted that warming is speeding up 10 times faster than at any other time in the planet's history. Um, there are radical, uh, you, you might have seen some really alarming charts about surface, ocean surface temperature, land surface temperature, and how just month on month these are breaking records, just way above anything we've seen. Climate scientists call it gobsmacking. Um, so what, well, let's just start with is zero enough to zero emissions enough to present catastrophic heating, let alone net zero. Um, Michael Mann from the embedded in IPCC orthodoxy will say, yes, it is. Jim Hansen, um, who is, you know, first introduced to global warming to US Congress back in 88, um, has a different view. So um, Michael Mann says, yes, net zero by 2050 is enough to stop catastrophic heating. Whereas Jim Hansen says, no, it's not. We also need to remove excess greenhouse gas emissions and make Earth more reflective. Um, and I think that Michael Mann will be coming around to that position given the changes we've seen over the last two months. Can't speak for him, though. Another uh, really inconvenient factor is that we're, by burning fossil fuels, we're already causing cooling because aerosols reflect sunlight. So while we're, you know, we measure about a 1.5 degree of heating from the, from the gases, warming gases, we are also creating either at the low end 0 0.4 degrees of cooling from the, the sunlight that's reflected up to one and a half degrees of cooling. So that's a huge amount of cooling that we're creating when we stop burning fossil fuels. That disappears really quickly and we've got to do something about that, but it's not really talked about much. That's just, These are just some of the charts you might have seen recently about surface temperature going up. So something radical is required to turn around this accelerated heating. We need to stop heating and we need to reverse it. But unfortunately, we don't really get that from uh, the climate policy out there. No one's really talking about stopping and reversing heating. They're just talking about climate action. Um, the three R's of climate rescue are we go to zero, we remove excess greenhouse gases, and then we're still, if we look at that red dotted line, that above that is the danger zone. If we want to get back below the danger zone, we've got to do something else but besides the zero emissions and the drawdown. We've got to actively call. We've got to increase the reflectivity of the planet. There's different ways to do that. Um, what, what the accord says are, are agreed upon terms for reduce is stop fossil fuel expansion, phase out fossil fuel use and prevent methane release remove there's lots of things we can do there's lots of r&d we can do and then for increasing um, re active cooling or solar radiation management um, you know you can do it down at ground level you can do it at cloud level you can do it in the, in the up in the stratosphere or you can do it in space a lot of them require a lot of r&d um, to, to look at the best options but you know we've just we really, we're so out of time. Um, and so anyway, forget, but scrub that slide. Um, that's it. Fantastic. Uh, and in under time. Uh, so that's, uh, that's Bryony, everyone. Uh, 
you've got, if anyone would like to ask a question, uh, we've allowed about three minutes for questions now. Mars. There's, so um, you, ad, you advocate quite strongly there for a, um, at least one method of geoengineering. And obviously there are a few proposals on the table, but there are, um, there are potentially significant risks with those. Uh, so um, do you want to, can you, can you take 30 seconds to talk a little bit more about those other proposals and what the sure. risks are? Yep. So stratospheric aerosols is what we usually hear about, and that's because it's really cheap to do. But, um, you know, the, the risks are that it just gives fossil fuels a green, a licence to keep burning whereas we don't want them to keep burning. This is the three R's are a whole package. It's not one or the other, it's all of them. And um, if you do reflect, you've also got to do reduce and remove. Um, if we don't start advocating on this, someone's just going to do it anyway. They're going to do put, it, put ourselves up there. Um, so we need to start advocating about the whole package. If, you, if you're doing ground level ones, you know, the risks really aren't there. You, you know, you're, you're lightening roofs and roads. This is a huge part of LA's uh, climate plan that, you know, to, reducing local temperatures by about two degrees. Um, people have costed mirrors on the ground. They've costed mirrors in space or space shades. Um, if we go the stratospheric aerosol one, you, you know, that can cause acid rain because these, uh, you, but you can do different things that aren't going to cause acid rain. It's not just aerosols you would use. Um, and also you could, it could change rainfall patterns. So does that answer you, Miles, or are you thinking of something else? No, no, that, 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 that pretty much, that's pretty comprehensive compared to mm -hmm. what, what, what I'm aware of. Right. All right. Thank you for that.